Hey there Aquarius, welcome and welcome back to StarsAlign.Oracle YouTube channel, the Lucky Stars community. Catstar here with your June 2024 monthly reading. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Also, so if you haven't already, check out the second channel, That Wild Spark. Three different ways you can get there. You can get there by putting the at sign in front of That Wild Spark. You can get there in the description box. There is a link right down below down there by the subscribe button. Subscribe at the same time. Subscribe. Um, and or I do have a link that I share or I do share posts uh, on the community tab. So check that all out. Also, if you are not a member yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and just click on the join button right down below. I have to think about it. Sorry about that. Um, the join button right down below by that subscribe button again, subscribe. Um, for those of you that have it, it does seem like the, I hear that sometimes there isn't a join button for those that don't. There is a link in the description box. Check out the members area. There are three different levels. There are um, different kind of perks to each. There is a new video that just went live very recently. So if you're in the members area and you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check that out. And if you are not yet in the members area, go ahead, jump in, jump in. We'd love to have you. Okay, let's see. Now, I do want you to know there's no rhyme or reason. These are what I was guided to. So I think this is just very much going to be single card, top of the card energy here. Okay. That's what feels like is coming through for this June reading. Spirit didn't, I mean, there's not a, I wasn't guided to a spread. There wasn't, it was just, okay, these are the cards that we're using. Here we go. Okay. Also make sure you stay till the very end as I will be picking some of the dice for a, uh, another message. So we'll do that at the very end. I do want to say there's an energy that's been coming through um, for June Aquarius. And that is an energy of the during, it feels like it's very much at the beginning of the month. It could be uh, the beginning end or towards the middle that there is going to be somebody who is going to be um, doing something. They're doing the best that they can, but it feels like the energy is misunderstood or the kind of their intention is misunderstood. Uh, so Aquarius, for those of you that feel uh, a bit frustrated or a bit upset with somebody quite a bit uh, in beginning or mid-June, they're doing the best that they can. And they really, really, really are um, as coming out things with the best intention. They really are working hard. They really are attempting to um, do good at whatever it is or however this comes through. It could be a child. It could be a co-worker. It could be uh, somebody even on the street or or what have you. They are. So if you could um, give them a little bit of patience, that is going to mean the world to them. Okay. A little bit of a break, maybe even. Okay. Now, Spirit wants to do this one first. Normally, we do these at the end, but Spirit's saying that this is your overall energy, a new opening, okay, for the month of June. The overall energy is a new opening, so there's opportunities, there's openings coming through, um, and this just feels very much like energy opening up, almost like a portal opening to you for you in June. It says, one door closes, I am confident another one will open, and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunities and learning they present to me. Serenity comes from within. So this is kind of about basically what we just talked about, right? Um, with that other person. For some of you, this feels very much like there is a potential that there's a challenge or something that's going to be ending or going away. The, uh, something that's going to fall away in June, but it offers a new beginning and a new opening, a new opportunity, new potential. Okay. You may not see it at the beginning. This may have to do with that person we were just talking about, or it may be completely separate. Okay. But having that energy or acknowledging that there are opportunities and that, um, realizing that serenity, peace, calm, harmony comes from the inside out. 
Okay. That is going to be your biggest thing. For some of you, your biggest um, beautiful energy and for others of you, your biggest con in June. So really pay attention. Okay. Really pay attention. When doors close, hold on to that positive energy. Okay. Well, this fell away or that happened, right? Be, if you can, as in such a in as healthy of a mindset as possible. Sometimes we're like, gosh, dang, da, 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 right? Um, all of us do that. Not just pointing fingers or any of that here, of course. We all do it from time to time. But um, it feels very much like June is about moving into a um, healthy kind of mindset or healthier relationships or healthy state of being kind of energy, okay? Not that you're not, but we could always potentially um, improve. Okay. Who is the healthiest person that you see? Healthiest mindset, always kind of, you know, like on the upbeat or doesn't let things get to him too much or doesn't worry too much of that kind of stuff. Not that that stuff doesn't happen, but, or like healthy couples. I mean, if you're looking, if your new opening, that new opening is coming through with a, a potential new relationship for you in June, Aquarius, who are the healthy couples that you see? If you aren't seeing healthy couples, work towards putting yourself in spaces, places where healthy couples or healthy people will be hanging out so that you can begin to model them in June. Okay. Now let's see your next card coming out is eyes on the prize. Number 44, trust the guidance of your North star. You see, um, this is very much coming through Aquarius to kind of keep yourself a new opening eyes on the prize, right? Um, trust the guidance that's coming through. Trust the one, one door closes, another one opens. That opportunities are always presenting themselves. This is very much staying within that space, Aquarius, of knowing, right, um, what it is you're going towards, what it is that means something to you, what it is that matters, your morals, your values, your beliefs, right? And also paying attention to your limitations only for the um, a brief amount of time that it is to say, oh, well, that's a limitation and that's not true. Okay. Um, your eyes on the prize is what you are focusing toward, what you are paying attention to and what you are striving for in June and how much you don't want, but we do need to know what we don't want so we can focus on what we do want. So number 44 coming through here, of course, you know, that might be something that you're going to be seeing um, this month or in the month of June is number 44 showing up to remind you, keep your eyes on your prize. Okay. Keep your gaze, trust, have faith and know, right. Um, that as long as you're focused on what it is that you're working towards, that that is what's going to start showing up or has more of a potential. If we're focused on what we don't want or what we're the past or what happened before, or the doors closing, right. The opportunities lost, what have you, then we're, we have that potential to see more of that. It's a, it's a confirmation bias, right? Look it up. If you don't know what that is, we tend to see or find more of what we tend to pay attention to. So spirits coming through here. Okay. That's good. Keep your eyes on the prize Aquarius. You're not going backwards. You're going forward. So keep focusing that way. Okay. In June for sure. Now you've got gifts from God. You see, all of this is coming through Aquarius spirit is gifting you big time in June. There's going to be so much abundance and so much love coming through. It's going to be showering down from you or from it's going to be showering down from heaven on you. Okay. Or from above on you, you're being gifted. You're being, um, almost placed on the path towards your own excellence. And you are the only one though, remember, that can walk the path. Okay. It's uh, Archangel Sandophon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. You see eyes on the prize. Aquarius, look, look at, I just want to show you a new opening. Eyes on the prize, gifts from God. Do you see this? You can't make this up. June Aquarius is going to be a big, huge month. It is going to be a big, huge month. It just keeps coming up. Okay. So you get to be in that state of reception, right? Receiving the gifts coming in, being there with open arms, keeping your eyes on the prize, trusting your guidance, right? And focus towards your true north or your north star, which is what it is that you are wanting, where it is you're going, the path that you're on. Okay. 
This is beautiful. And you have the two of wands coming in. Oh my gosh, I love these cards. I think this is why, because these cards, not that they mostly aren't, the, a lot of the cards, that they're so visually pleasing that they just bring about that energy of, oh, man, I'm so excited, right? That kind of energy comes through when you look at these, okay? So Spirit's like, you know what, Aquarius, in June, what is it that you want? You want to travel? Book the ticket. You want to go somewhere? You want to see a concert? You want to do that? Make the plans. You want to see somebody? You want, right? You've got the world in the palm of your hands. Make the move, Aquarius, and go. Do whatever it is that you've been wanting to do. June is a good month. Everything is here. Plan it. Buy the tickets right? Um, rent the, the cottage or the vacation rental or take the road trip or rent the RV or talk to the person or go see that person from your past. Whatever it is, Aquarius, June is the month to do it. The world is in the palm of your hands. Everything is wide open. There's freedom all around. Go, go, go. Okay. That's what spirit's got. Okay. Let's see. The last card out here is let your past go. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, we just talked about right? Eye on the prize. It's not behind you. I love it when this happens. Okay. The burden of carrying, carrying, no, the burden of carting your past around has made you weary. Yes, I know, right? Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And now poof, it's gone. Gorgeous. Okay, my battery's going to die. So we're going to speed this up just a little bit. We're going to do the end part. But Aquarius, you, I mean, you can't make it up. This is like boom. Confirmation. Confirmation. Con all of this. Okay. You have gifts. You're being gifted. You keep your eyes on the price. There's new openings. Travel. Do the things and let the past go. You're not going that way. We talked about that. Okay. Let's get some dice. And at the end here. Okay. These make me laugh. Okay, you've got number 12, okay? And you have the letter A, the letter R, and the letter G, which is making me think you've got gar, but you also have rag. So it's like rags to riches kind of energy is what I'm getting. Rags to riches, okay? You've got what the, what the, this is what spirit's indicating. Here's the end. What the end free. This is like this energy of what the, what are you waiting for, Aquarius? You've got this rags to riches kind of energy. The 12th is going to be day, but you're free. You are free. Make the plans. Do the thing. Let the past go, right? You, you don't let that past hold you back. You're free, okay? You've got gifts coming in. You've got, keep your eye on the prize. You've got a new opening coming through, Aquarius. This is, this is, just gorgeous energy in June. You, Aquarius, it's going to be a huge month, believe me. And when you receive it with open arms, when you keep your eye on the prize, when you plan and do the dang things, right? Spirit's going to be like, yes, right? The whole planet, the whole, in the palm of your hands, Aquarius, what the, you're free. What are you waiting for? What are, what are you, why? Don't, don't be a rag. I don't know. That was a little much, but <laughs> right. Go do the things. Don't be a nag. Don't be a rag. Just go. And the 12th is going to be a very beautiful time for you. That day is going to be monumental. Plus, you know, the 44 coming through here. Keep your eye on the, keep going, move forward, keep going, go, go, go. Okay. That's what's coming through for June. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button right down below and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. Also, check out the second channel, That Wild Spark. That Wild Spark. Make sure you're subscribed over there as well and check out the members area. We'd love to have you as always. Look at these colors. I want you to see that they are all blended together. Okay. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. June is going to be boom, bam, spectacular. It's going to be huge. I am excited. I am ready, ready, ready. Let's go. All right. I'll see you in the next reading.